Next, we're gonna do the video on making the soup, the Vitamix soup. So it's going to be the cauliflower broccoli cheese soup. And I'll get started on that one. Cheese soup, but this is a little bit different than the typical recipe for the Vitamix. What I've done is I have cut up some broccoli, some cauliflower, a little bit of carrot, minced onion, and the vegetables are going to go into the steamer and they're going to steam. At that point, they will be added to the soup. So that's the first part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and steam the vegetables and then I'll come back and we'll pick it up from there and I'll show you the rest of it. Okay, I have steamed the vegetables now and as I said, I was using broccoli I was using cauliflower and some carrots. So I steamed that. It calls for a cup. I'm doing more than a cup. It calls for a cup of milk. I'm doing a cup and a half of milk. Instead of a bouillon cube, this is my preference. I like the better than bouillon. As a matter of fact, I love the better than bouillon. It's the only thing I'll use. This one is made with seasoned roasted chicken. And I'm going to be putting a teaspoon of that in as well. So, I am going to add, I have the recipe here, and I will go over the recipe again at the end, and what this is the recipe, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding, let me bring you over here so you're closer to the Vitamix, let's see if I can straighten this up so you can see it better, all right, I'm going to be putting in the milk, That's one cup. I'm going to add another half a cup. A little more than a half a cup. Okay. Then it tells me to add a half a cup of the shredded low-fat cheddar cheese. Here's the cheddar cheese. Add half a cup. Then it tells me to add a cup and a half of the broccoli or cauliflower, fresh or frozen, steamed and a teaspoon of diced onion. I'm going to be adding all of the vegetables and I will be adding some of these vegetables as well. I'm going to be leaving some of the broccoli to put in at the end so it'll be chunky. It's asking for the minced onion. I'm going to take the minced onion and add that. Okay. It's now asking for one teaspoon of the 
either one teaspoon or they say a half a bouillon cube, but I'm, I would do a whole one because I'm going to be adding the extra ingredients. This is a little bit more. I'm gonna throw that in. I don't know how many of you use this, but I like it a lot. And uh, it, it gets refrigerated once it's open. Okay, the next thing that the recipe calls for is to then close the machine, put the cover on and secure it. Then I'm going to select variable one, which is down here. I'm going to turn the machine on and it's this is variable down here and one is right here this very first and I'm turning it on once it goes on I slowly increase the speed to variable 10 and then to high and then I blend it for five to six minutes or until heavy steam comes out and I will show you that whole process I really think this is too low to really capture this all the way. Let me go back a little bit and see if you get it better. I really want you to see what's going on. Okay, so once again, we're turning it on. It's on variable one, and we are going to slowly turn it up until it goes up to 10.
about six minutes. And I will I'm going to take a little bit more of the veggies and I'm going to throw them in. certainly see the steam. This goes in and it's going to go in just for maybe 20 seconds just to kind of chop the veggies up. To give it a little bulk. soup. I think you can see the steam coming out of it. It's very hot. It's a nice thick soup. Take a look at it. And what I usually do is I will then throw in I should have kept a little bit of the broccoli. I should have kept just a little bit of the broccoli out to just throw on top, but I didn't. And this is it. I'll just throw a little on top. And that, my friends, is my broccoli cauliflower cheese soup. All I have to do now is taste it. So I'll let you know how I like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna taste the soup and I'll let you know how it is. Mm. That is a good thick soup. This is a really, really good soup. 1% milk, essentially healthy for you. Mmm. Oh, so good. Mmm. Bon appetit. This is the leftover soup. The soup was absolutely delicious. It really was. I have enough for two more bowls of soup. It's a very rich, very filling soup. And again, as I say, I put in carrots, cauliflower, broccoli. You can put in whatever you want. Next time I'll make a potato, a cream, cream of potato soup. If you have any, any interest in my showing you any more soups, let me know but it really is good, it's very healthy. It was so hot, I burned my tongue. Six minutes, six and a half minutes. Of course, you do have the, ex the extra maybe five to 10 minutes to steam the vegetables, but it's really quick and it's really good. Love it for the winter. I hope you enjoyed this, thanks.